Hello everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games. Hope you are and having a great day. We're looking at Patchwork, a new board game that has been adapted into very much a device game. Now this is a Steam copy and you can tell that it's been adapted from mobile devices because it says tap to continue and actually the UI is very much tablet inspired. So if that annoys you with games, that may cause you some issues here. However, the actual game that you play in Patchwork is a very good game and I quite enjoy it. And it's a game that I'd very much, if, we'd look, if we're talking board games here, we're looking at um, 10 and under particularly um, and very light casual stuff over in 20 minutes if you want it to. Um, you can have some fun. Now this game is primarily aimed at uh, multiplayer either in casual games where you can um, play with your friends over Steam or ranked games where you can f look out for stuff further afield or local games uh, where you can go against a guest um, in a two player experience and you can only have two player experiences on this game or up against one of the three AI and we'll go for medium just because uh, that's who you play the tutorial as and the tutorial actually does a very good job of explaining the games it goes so I'm going to butcher that tutorial and show you how things work in a game <laughs> so there's two things that are going on on this, actually there's several things that go on on this screen, but I'm going to talk you through it as we go. On the left hand side over here we've got essentially like a, a traditional board of counters as you go across. And it will go round in um, a swirl until you hit the centre and you'll collect various bits and bobs as you go along. On the right hand side we've got this blank layout here of squares and the idea is to basically patchwork a quilt together with the things that you've got that constantly appear, oh no I don't want to take that yet, on this swirling disc of joy and I really like how like the the UI spins around like cogs as well and we're starting here on the keyhole and we'll move this way and you can only really choose from any of these three things here and I've only got enough buttons to buy two of these. So your currency is buttons and you can see the buttons that I've got are five down the bottom left hand side and same on the bottom right for my opponent and the idea is to basically drag and patchwork your stuff together now I'll spend five buttons buying one of these two things or I can zip the button across and pass and gain two buttons um, and move on a space essentially around the board so there's several things that are going on all at once so five buttons to buy this and I'll move three spaces on the board that's going around here on the left hand side. So let me jump this down um, and that's quite a chunky thing in the centre. So I'm going to, and this is where you think, oh, you could have right, you could have right um, clicked some of this if we was playing on an actual keyboard. There we go. So that gets patchworked in, all very good. Five buttons go in the bank and I move three paces along. So he's buying two moves along to. Now the turn of play is always whoever's last on the board going round to the centre which is why who has got two goes. Now that he moves ahead he's also moved over the button and you basically get back all of your buttons that are on the board every time you go past the buttons. So that's why there's a bit of a strategic one here of do I buy things that have got buttons on that sometimes cost more and maybe actually leave me a few spaces on my patchwork quilt to be penalised on later or do I go for what is aesthetically going to sort me out better? <laughs> That's like your dilemma and for me whilst I'm early on in the game I'm quite happy to chuck down any old turf. I probably won't win anyway. <laughs> But the idea of this is that those buttons basically give me back rewards long term. Now we're on top of each other here and I've only got two buttons so I can't play so I'll have to pass. Passing always moves you to one space ahead of the person that you're playing at. So there we go, we're having to pass equally here. Ooh, now that could be juicy, you know. We'll buy that. And we'll spin it around because that locks out that whole side. So, you get points for covering your patchwork quilt up, 
but at the end of the game you get two points deducted for every space and hole that you leave behind. So see where the who has got like the H at the bottom missing? He'll lose two points for that by the end of the game. And so you're always in this risk versus reward. Um, and sometimes you'll want to... You'll almost want to go as slow as you can so that you can buy up lots of little patchwork quilt things to try and save some of the holes um, and get it sorted. Other times you might want to burst off ahead and get like a really chunky piece. So for me, I'm going to go, ex yeah, I'm going to go on all expenses paid with the tea. I really like the music of this game. It reminds me of um Oh Cahoots Cahoots uh, in like the patchwork cute fluffy plushy style. So who is still playing away because he's not caught me up yet. So he's playing the game of buying things that cost little so that he doesn't get caught out uh, early on, essentially. So I'm going to follow suit in some way by going initially for this one. Uh, yeah, I'll spin it around and I'm going to flip it, actually. That was, a, that was the long-handed way of doing it. Um, and that's really the only downside that I have to this game is the manoeuvring of patchworks is just clunky because it's clearly designed for touchscreen, not for mouse. Um, and I really wished it wasn't, <laughs> essentially. So, yeah, bit of a shame. Uh, so, here's a good dilemma here. So, we're going to move five spaces regardless. That's one, two, three, four. And I'm going to get. Where we've got buttons, you also get single patches that can really help you like heal holes. So what I'm going to do, because I'm going to land on that patchwork bit first and claim it, is do that. Because strategically, I move five, I get all my buttons back, I get that singular patch, and I'm going to pop that patch there thus leaving no holes. Now you can see in the middle of these two things there's a 7x7 seven seven here. If you're able to make a 7x7 seven seven complete square you kind of get like the bonus. Um, which in the couple of games that I've played no one's been able to do yet. <laughs> so um, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, who is, who is being a bit strategic? Because he's covering more of his quilt before I am. And I'm potentially going to run out of space. Uh, so I'm going to look at what's going to cost the least amount of moves for this one. It's going to be that. And the whole piece around um, getting round the board qu as quick as possible. is that if you were in a tiebreaker it's essentially who got round the board fastest wins because you've been more efficient um, go me 14 buttons so there's plenty of different ways how you can play this now I'm playing against the AI here obviously you can play locally and there's no there's no big issues with that at all you're just taking turns with the mouse when you're doing it online though um, you can play lots of different games at the same time because it all happens over a 24-hour period which I think is a really interesting design choice so you are ooh, that's only, oh, hang on. is that seven buttons but one move Mm, okay, right. Let's 
do that. It's expensive, but it covers a big thing. I only move one and it's still my turn. Oh, I can be quite cheeky, actually. Right. So that's one button and two turns, and I'm still in the game for it as well. Mm, now where do I put it? That feels like it's going to really, really bite me in the ass later, but we'll give it a go. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyway, online you're playing asynchronously, so you can dive in and out of matches. Um, which is really quite cool because people aren't playing you this isn't the game where you're going to have like hardcore patchwork gamers so it lets you kick off multiple games all at once in fact actually I'm going to pop that there because it's highly unlikely I'll get a long strip again um So yeah, have different games on the go. You get notified by the messages in game when someone is um, taking a new move. So you can dive in and out. Uh, and as a result of that, what is effectively quite a niche game that I don't expect to have like mass appeal. Um, although you kind of think of that with um, like Ticket to Ride. I wouldn't have thought that would have had a massive online appeal, but it does. Uh, whatever niche community takes this game on you're going to have more bang for your buck online because you can have so many different things going at once so you just basically queue yourself up to say i may i'm quite happy to play x amount of games at once and it will just leave you there to be picked up by people as you go through so i really really appreciate that that's how multiplayer has been uh, created for this game uh, i'm going to So I still have my turn if I use that one first. Yeah. Okay. In you go. Good stuff, still me. because it will give us more buttons. Pop that down. And we get the patchwork quilt in the side. I can't tell who's winning yet. <laughs> Which is always a good thing with this game because you're a bit like, hmm, I wonder. <laughs> like he has who has more to cover but they've also made a better job of creating just a giant square for him to ch chuck shit in and I don't have that actually no he's gonna no he's got less to cover than me ah oh, smithy beaten by the AI again yeah shit god look at him oh, I've been played <laughs> Oh look at that. Yeah, I think I think we've got a winner. Yeah, 21 holes. Shit. Um, let's start off with this one. Let's pop it there. Got 
my buttons back. And that could be a little bit of my saviour point, is that I've got more buttons than he has. Um, the thing is though, is that whatever I do next is going to finish it for me. So I've got one, two, three, four. Or if I go for that, I finish with a five. Oh god. This is a pain. <laughs> The only grace is, is that he's kind of stuck on six now. Which makes me think. Let's go strategically on this one. And flip it round like that. Because it also gives us two buttons and another turn. hope other people were looking at that. This is like my desperate last gasp effort to try and get somewhere. <laughs> um, and then to spend the least amount of buttons possible. Uh, oh, no, or do I? Hmm. I'll get all my buttons back. No, it's better to, spe to buy this one because we lose two buttons per square that's missing. So that then brings us down to that. And then actually I've only got four squares missing and more buttons potentially. It's gonna be close. Yes! <laughs> Excellent. So there we go. It, that, that all came down to whose holds the goal. <laughs> and that's how um, Patrick works. I actually really, really like the game. Uh, it's, it's really simple with easy to understand mechanics. I may not have explained them particularly well, but when you play it, it's easy to understand. And yeah, I give it two, two very hearty thumbs up. I wished that the controls were a little bit less around touchscreen. Um, and a direct like comparison over because uh, some of the controls just feel like a little one step too far to make it like an absolute 10 out of 10 transition over uh, just to go around some of the other stuff that's going on so that's what happens when you go for a ranked game you just say how many games you want to play all at once up to five I think it'll let you, yeah um, and then when you hit the button, it then basically syncs you all up with that. Uh, also, DLC is just basically different types of blankets that you can uh, play with. So I was on Classic there, but you've got a couple of extra ones that you've got if you want those. Um, gameplay you can actually speed up. Um, and you've also got difference in score calculations. So you've got the original mode, which was like minus points for stuff, or you can say pure excuse me, purely on positive stuff, which is basically how many holes, uh, how much of the quilt can you cover, essentially. So, slight difference in the variation. Tutorial, obviously. That's your running game, so you can see what's going on. So, the K is... I'm still waiting for them to do something. Um, which is fine. Um, but you can have up to five going at once, which is lovely. Um, and you also have your own profile there as well, so it tells you who you are, what you've played, your ELO, um, and a list of achievements basically for playing and uh, beating enough people online. Uh, but it's all online focused, the Steam achievements, if that's your thing. Um, you'll be needing to play over 100 games online um, and possibly win them all, I'm not sure. So, oh, here we go, achievements, that would help. Dun, dun, dun. 110, yeah, 100, 1000 games. So you might be going for quite some more. What time? So yeah, there we go. Patchwork in a nutshell. Really, really like it. Heavily recommended if you like very simple mechanics of a board game translated into digital. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope that was enjoyable. Take care everyone and hope you join me again here on Higher Plane Games for another video of video games every single day. Bye for now.